Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. It is July 21st, 2017, and a couple of months ago, Goal Zero announced the new Yeti 400 Lithium. That's what it looks like right there. I own the previous AGM model, the Yeti 400 Classic or AGM or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, so I wanted to talk about the new lithium model and compare the two and tell you what has changed. Let's take a look at the spec sheets for the two. So we've got spec sheets for the AGM and also for the lithium model. And the first thing that you'll notice is the 396 watt hour capacity of the old AGM model. The new lithium model has a 428 watt hour capacity, so it's a little higher off the bat. But not only that, AGM, you really don't want to discharge an AGM battery more than about 50%. And if, if you can help it, you really want to discharge it less than 50% in order to maintain a reasonable amount of cycle life. And you'll notice here that they say hundreds of cycles for the AGM version. And for the lithium version, they say 500 cycles to 80%. So they're, they're much more specific and confident about the number of cycles in the lithium version. And the reason for that is lithium batteries can be discharged pretty much 100% and you'll still get a certain number of rated cycles. This is one of those things where you have to be paying attention because the Goal Zero Yeti 400 AGM model, while it's rated at 396 watt hours, you really only get 198 watt hours of that usable for hundreds of cycles. And that's at a 50% discharge per cycle. The lithium model, you get the full 428 watt hours usable every cycle for 500 cycles before your battery is only giving you about 80% capacity. Over time, the lithium battery is going to give you less and less capacity every time you use it, but it takes 500 cycles to get down to 80% capacity. You know, pretty much right off the bat, you can see there that the Yeti 400 lithium, while it has 400 in the name, that's a bit misleading because you're actually getting twice the usable capacity, a little bit more than twice the usable capacity. So that's really nice. Is it worth the price discrepancy though, is the question. So the Yeti 400 AGM costs $459.99 and the Yeti 400 Lithium costs nearly $700, $699.99. Uh, so that's about a $250 price difference. Now, there are other advantages to the Lithium model uh, besides cycle life and capacity. The weight of the old AGM model was nearly 30 pounds, so 29 pounds, and that is quite heavy. You really don't want to be lugging that around from the backyard to the front yard or from the van to the, uh, the tent or indoors to outdoors. It, it gets tedious real fast. I've got one of these, I know. And you really can't have children lug that around. So if you've got preteens or teenagers that you want to, you know, do a little bit of, of work and set up the battery for you at the campsite, uh, you know, they're not going to enjoy lugging around a 30 pound battery and I'm not sure you really want them lugging around that kind of weight. The 16 pound weight of the lithium version is much more desirable. Smaller people will have a much easier time moving this around. The warranty on the old version, the AGM version, is six months and the warranty on the lithium version is 12 months. So you get twice the warranty, which is nice. The inverter for the old AGM version had a 300 watt inverter with a 600 watt max surge. The new lithium inverter is the same 300 watt continuous but it has a 1200 watt max surge. And that can be really useful for running devices with motors in them that have a high inrush current. The charging port is the same on the Yeti 400 lithium, 14 to 29 volts, up to 10 amps, 120 watt max. The USB ports on the lithium model have changed a little bit. They are now 2.4 amp ports instead of the old AGM models, 2.1 amp ports. And that's nice, that'll give you slightly faster charge charging with uh, tablets and, and phones. For example, an iPad will charge a little bit faster, I believe. So what do you think? Would you buy the lithium $699 Yeti 400 from Goal Zero? Or would you opt for the cheaper $459 AGM model? Let me know in the comments down below the video. If you're interested in checking out any of these products that I've described here today, we have links down below the video in the description. Check those out. We also have a Patreon link down there. If you enjoy the content of this video and you want to see more videos like it, please consider becoming a patron. As always, thanks for watching and please subscribe.